Is the goal of scoliosis surgery to stop the curve's progression, would you say? Uh, uh, I would say so, but as a secondary goal. The first okay. goal is probably neurological decompression and to cure the patient of back pain. Okay, and we have actually a couple of goals that we're going to show our viewers of scoliosis surgery. One of them, like we just said, to stop the curve's progression, reduce the deformity, maintain trunk balance. Anything you'd like to add, doctor? You know, th that's a very good point, maintain trunk balance. Remember I was saying that the head must be above the pelvis, both in the frontal and the side plane. So with degenerative scoliosis, frequently patients will have uh, a change in their mechanical axis. So restoring normal trunk balance usually will get the patients out of back pain. On top of that, if you don't restore trunk balance with surgery, patients are very commonly, uh, uh, the patients that I'm seeing are developing what's called adjacent level disease. So with the classic surgery especially, where we really couldn't restore the anatomy, we would just sort of hold things in place, patients would come back and they would have a problem right above the fusion. Very common problem that can be corrected with a minimally invasive technique. But if we restore the balance, we really get the head back to where it belongs mm -hmm. in the patient, then the incidence of adjacent level disease is much lower.